Hi everyone, welcome to another House Rules Review. My name is Jonathan Doe for this is my wife, Emily. Hi guys. Today we're going to talk about another one of the Christmas and Winter themed games, Stone Age, the Anniversary Edition. Now, the Anniversary Edition isn't necessarily a, uh, a Christmas game, but Stone Age with this skin is definitely a winter themed game. Mm -hmm. um, the entire board and a lot of the components have a snow or winter theme to them. They're super pretty. Um, this is one of Emily's favorite games. Yeah. So I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about why she likes this game, and then we're going to show off some of the components and some of the things that are different with this version from the original version of Stone Age. Alrighty. Well, one of my reasons that I love this game so much is because there's so many options of things you can do on your turn. You're going to think, do I need food this turn? Do I need resources? Do I want to go for some points and therefore go for cards? Am I going to get huts? There's just endless options of things that you can do, and it's all dependent upon what your end game goal is and how you want to go about getting those points to win. Right, that's very true. And this is a worker placement style game, and so you have a lot of flexibility with what you're going to do on each and every turn. Um, the components that you get in the game, which are really neat, uh, so you have the basic, this is the player board, this looks just like the one in Stone Age, but then you have this winter side, which looks different, has some, some neat, unique art, it's very thematic. Um, the actual game board is the same way. You have a side that is the same summer theme you always see, and then you have this winter theme, which is really pretty. Um, and we're going to set up the board in a second here and then kind of show you some of the things that are a little bit different on the board. Um, but there are some, some new tiles and some new cards that are specific to this uh, anniversary edition that I thought were really cool looking. Um, one of those options is the igloos. So you have the standard huts and, and those, they still look like this, they're, they're summer and then winter themed on the back. Now with the huts, there is a mini expansion in the game too. Which is, I'm going to hold that a little bit closer. You see how it has that little stone under the 10 point mark there? So what that means is I can do the normal resources for this card, which is two wood and a brick, and get 10 points. But if I want, I can also pay an extra stone and get an additional five points for this card. The idea is that winter is really harsh and we're insulating our, our huts against the cold. Now the difference with these igloos is that these are always next to the game board and there's one for every resource, wood, uh, brick, stone, and gold, and they all have different point values. They all cost three of that resource, like this is three stone, for 19 points. And they're just off to the side. Anybody can build them at any time, and once they're gone, they're gone. They don't count for building purposes. So the little, the little man that you can get a bonus for your buildings, these don't count towards that. But they are a lot of points for not that many resources. Because like normally, three stone is 15 points. Here they're 19 on this guy, three gold is 22 points, whereas normally they're 18. So you get some, some really neat looking buildings and some extra bonus points with that. Um, one of the other neat expansions in the game is all of the, the cards, they are kind of winter themed. You can kind of see it there, it's hard to tell. But they have like the sandy beach and then they got snow off to one side. So they all kind of have that look which is cool, um, but one of the new types of cards they added in the deck are these animal cards. And the way that they work is, depending on the number of players, when it comes out, um, you have to commit a certain number of workers to get rid of them. And until you do, it has a little minus sign here, and whatever you're rolling for, resources or food, you take a detriment to that roll until the animal's gone, basically because the animal's threatening your village. So like the board here is minus two, so if I rolled, you know, if I rolled six um, for food and food is off of a roll of, of two each, normally I'd get three food, because the board's out, I'd get two food. Um, until he's basically driven off by people committing workers to him. And then depending on how many workers you personally committed, you roll that many dice and get a reward from the table below. And the rewards are really good, because the rewards are a worker, an agriculture, a tool, any resource, three food or three victory points. So they're really good rewards. So if you can commit multiple workers to this, you get one reward per die result. 
um, for each die that you you committed. So it's a really it's a really strong card, um, and they don't fill up uh, a card space. They go off to the side of the board also when they're drawn. Um, other things that they did in the expansion is um, they have a space on the board, which I'm going to tilt it down so you can see that. So you have this little space here with your cards that has a plus gold. And what that means is that when you buy a card, say for two resources, you can add a gold to it and just immediately score six victory points in addition to whatever your, your card is. And that can be done on any one of these cards. Now, one thing that I, I wish maybe might have been done a little bit differently, camera problems today, is I kind of wish that they had put that on both sides of the board. It wouldn't have been hard to do. Um, they, I get they were trying to keep the original game board the same, um, but they didn't put that gold on the other side of the board. So if you're playing the summer version, I guess you could just do it and kind of remind people, or maybe you could find a way to add that to the board if you wanted. Um, it's a really neat idea because it lets you get the cards you're already trying to get and then get yeah, points, points anyway with gold without having to spend a guy to go get a hut to do it. Um, cool. Which is really cool, but it would be nice if they'd add that to the summer side. But hey. Yeah, they're just probably trying to keep it the what it was and not get it confusing. Because I think so. that is the original game on the other side. Right, right. And I definitely agree with that. You still get the, the same uh, dice cup and stuff. Food tokens are neat because they're all shaped. Um, so you've got like little fish, you've got bear furs, you have mushrooms, and you have um, little bushes for berry bushes, right? So that was kind of a neat thing that they did. And then the last thing I'll let Emily show you was... Uh, the meeples. They changed oh what the meeples goodness. look like. I love me some good meeples. And these ones are ridiculously adorable. So you've got your normal meeple shape, right? But they added like artwork to it. So this one here is your male little meeple. And he's obviously the blue guy. But then if you go looking, you come across, you got your female meeple. Oh, hold on. This one's the male. You can see, look, he's got the beard. He's got the little beard going on there. And then this is your female she doesn't. Kevin already told the part. Anyway, so yeah, if you want to go to the baby making hut, there you go. You got your little thing majiggy. You're going to put them on there and voila. Yep. You can get yep. yourself another meeple. But and they did add a little bit to the carving of them too because they have like a little little axe or mm -hmm. shovel or something yeah. in their hand. Right. So it's not just the exact same meeple. Although the meeples for Stone Age originally were really good anyway. Right. Just having that little bit of art and they are double sided yeah. is kind of cool. Um, so that's just another little thing. Yep. And I mean, it's stuff like that, um, where normally a person might try to trick out their game anyway, and then you get a, a cool anniversary edition that has a few little extras anyhow, mm -hmm. I think is really, really neat. Um, oh, and the last thing was, the start player token is double-sided. This guy is in the base game. Then they have a lady on snow for the other side if you're playing the winter version. Just kind of cool that they, they did that. I mean, just little things like that. Um, what really drew us to this uh, this copy of the game? Mm -hmm. We had Stone Age before we lived in Kansas, and um, it just was too big to pack. It's very big. Um, but we were happy to see this version come out, yeah. and so it, it goes along with some of the other games in our collection. So, mm -hmm. any other thoughts you had on it? No, I'm excited to give it a try. Yeah, yeah so fun. it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, if you get a chance to come out to our event on July 27th at Serenity Games. Um, we're going to be having this game there as well as a bunch of other Christmas winter themed games. Mm -hmm. Definitely check out some of the links I have for those other videos. Subscribe if you like what we're doing. And uh, keep gaming. We'll see you later. Bye.